In this video, I'm going to explain baking down transform key layers. What this means is taking a layer that has transform key movement, merging it all down into one layer that replaces your transform keys with regular paint frames. This is useful for when you want to export your animation, reduce draw calls, or regain flexibility over each frame. Here I have a looping dinosaur animation who runs in place. As you can see, I've added some transform keys to make him do a 360 run in a circle. Once he finishes his run, he stops and remains in place. If I want to bake this animation, or make it loop, what I have to do is put it into a sequence. To make a sequence, I recommend first making a group. Go to a layer above your group with the transform keys and hit create new group. Then add your looping transform key layer into that new group. And then make the new group into a sequence. Now, if you wanted to, you could undo all this and you could start with the sequence group like this. You can create sequence groups with the sequence button here. But the problem is that if the sequence group or your main layer is offset from the zero point, it normally gets out of out of sync and it's not usually the desired result. So I recommend starting with a group and then converting that group into a sequence. Now that your animation is in the sequence group, what you want to do is make sure that sequence group is looping. So go to the very last frame of your animation. So in my case, it's when the 360 loop ends here at this keyframe. Make sure you're on that frame and then click on your sequence and set the sequence to loop. Now if I was to play back my animation, you'll see that the dinosaur will hit that point and everything within that group will now loop, including my transform keys. Before you bake your animation, it needs to be in a looping sequence, otherwise the button won't even appear. To bake it, tap on your looping sequence layer and then hit the bake button here. As you can see, I have a new layer here which is all baked paint frames. It's called new layer zero underscore baked based on my sequence name. It creates a backup so you can always keep your original file with the transform keys but you also get this new layer. If I'm going to play it now it'll look almost the exact same. It's a little bit choppier but that's because there's less interpolation than before. Now that it's baked you can always choose to go and unloop it so it only animates once. Sometimes you only want it to loop so that you can make your bake. Now that it's baked, you have more control over the keys using things like the grab tool. You can also do things like colorize it since every frame is a paint frame. And of course, you can also export this to FBX because it no longer relies on transform keys. The downside to baking is that it makes your scene much heavier. You also don't want to bake anything too complex or too long because it may crash weaker computers or take ages to process. It also makes the animation choppier than the smooth transform key interpolation that you would have had before. 